Welcome to another Numismatics Notes with Benjamin. I am Benjamin, and tonight I'm going to share with you a State of Jersey banknote. This is a Jersey one pound banknote um, on paper. It measures 128 by 65 millimeters. It is predominantly um, printed in greens and yellows, although you can see some pinks and blues in the underprint. The standard catalog of world paper money calls this a PIC 31, and the banknote book calls this a B126. Like I said, it was paper. It commemorates the 800th anniversary of Jersey and its special relationship with the crown and was printed by Delarue. In addition to the banknote book and the standard catalog of world paper money, I've gotten information from Wikipedia and Numista. Now let's get started with what uh, shows up here on the face of the note. We have Queen Elizabeth II in a portrait by Norman Heppel. And I believe she's in garter robes, but somebody may be able to correct me if I'm wrong there. Here are some little birds over here called tree creepers. There are some flowers over here to the right of the Queen's portrait. And here in the center, you'll see the arms of Jersey. Here's the logo in the watermark section uh, for the 8th centuries of Jersey. There is a... Cent there is a um, security thread that is off center and you can just kind of see a hint of it right here but if you have this note and you hold it up to the light you can see very clearly there is a site security thread that bisects but is a little to the left on this bank note the serial numbers are in all black they're not fancy they're all the same size but they do have a unique uh, prefix called j8 C. And that stands for Jersey 8 centuries. So it's another one of those notes that have a novel suffix. And I just enjoy finding <laughs> finding notes like that. There is a color shifting one pound up here in the upper right hand corner. And uh, you can't see it here, but there is a watermark of a cow to the left right here underneath this logo. The signature of the note is Ian Black. And um, I would love to contact Mr. Black and see if I could get him to sign one of these notes, but uh, I'll keep you posted if that actually ever happens. Now, um, I'm showing you a special note because it commemorates, but I'm also going to show you a um, specimen note that I have of the same note. It is a commemorative, and it is a specimen, and specimens by design are not legal tender. And they are, um, I don't know, they are originally designed to show bankers and people in finance what a new note looks like. But anymore, they seem to be issued for collectors. They, they, we know they're specimen because they say specimen right here. Sometimes the specimens aren't signed. These are. These have a serial number that's all zero. That doesn't mean it's a low serial number. It just means, in this case, it is a specimen note. Um, now, uh, I wanted you to know that in addition to this being a regular issue note, this note is a plate note. And what I mean is it's the actual bank note that was used for the ph photography in the standard catalog of world paper money. And you can check for yourself. If you have a world paper money, you can turn to Jersey. In my case, I'm using an edition, the 25th edition. And on page 612, pick number 31 is this identical banknote. Let's see if I can show that to you right now. And here we go. There's the banknote right there. Take a look at the serial number. J8C0032263. J8C0032263. Isn't that neat? Everybody in the world that has this bank note or has a Krause catalog is referring to the image of the actual note that I am touching with my hand right here. Um, for me, I enjoy having plate notes, and maybe for posterity it doesn't mean that much, but maybe someday because, you know, the Krause catalog is um, a thing of the... It's in it's in flux right now, and it makes me very sad, but maybe someday this will have a neat little value because it was a plate note in the standard catalog of world paper money. Anyway, that's a little bit much right now. Let me go ahead and let's take a look at the back of this note. There's a lot going on on the back of this note, not just its beauty. Let's take a look and let's see if I can't show you this without offending you with my dirty fingernails because I'm a gardener or my big giant thumb, although my nail broke recently, so it's um, much shorter than it used to be. Here we have um, 
the back of the note. And in the left lower corner right here, we have a map of the island of, of Jersey. And there is a um, couple of Jersey's arms on this side. We have the arms right over here. And we have the arms right over here. And we have the arms on this little coin up here. <laughs> and, ooh, there's that silver mace, that lovely mace that King Charles II gave to Jersey after the Restoration. I did a, I did a YouTube video on the 100 pounds of Jersey. Be sure you check it out. Now, um, there is also the Jersey overprint here of the logo, Jersey 1204 to 2004. Um, and you will see here the Mont Argyle original castle. And um, let's see. Down here there is a bugler and maybe some workers. I don't exactly know what they're doing or what they're from. But behind the whole thing is a document. And um, let's go back to this castle here. Mont Argyle is French for Mount Pride. And I'm pretty sure I didn't say that right because I don't speak French. The English call it Gore Castle. So maybe it's... Montour Gore. <laughs> I don't know. Speak, speakers of Jure's, the island uh, language, uh, French dialect, call it La Vieille Chate, the old castle. Um, it was first referred to as Montour Goyle in 1462 in an ordnance survey. In 1600, Walter Raleigh, the governor, rejected a plan to demolish the castle and served, and the castle served as the island's prison for uh, some centuries. Um, Walter Raleigh, huh? He figures prominently in history. <laughs> Interestingly enough with this image, the Germans built range-finding positions that resembled parts of the medieval castle, and they did it to be camouflaged against allied eyes and flyover. And if you look at this old castle and all these old walls, here at the top is a little tower. There's another little tower and another little tower. And if you look at them... <laughs> <laughs> They're not necessarily crenellated. Those are the towers that the Germans built, and they built them sturdy enough that I suppose demolishing them at the end of the war would maybe have damaged the castle. And besides, they're part of the battlements. They're part of the history of the castle, I guess, for the rest of uh, this castle's existence. But um, I thought you might appreciate seeing a banknote that is a specimen, and I thought you might appreciate a banknote that you saw that is a plate note. Do any of you guys have plate notes from the standard catalog, from your country's catalog, or perhaps even uh, notes that are featured in the bank notebook? Why don't you like and subscribe and tell me in the comments. Uh, share and um, spread the word. My video is my in my hundred... I have, well, I have more than 160 now, I think, and I'm close to a thousand subscribers. I thank you guys for what you've done to support me. I know my videos are low, <laughs> low quality in terms of editing, but I hope they're high value in terms of research and scholarship. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your subscriptions. Please like and subscribe. Uh, be prepared uh, to cuss with me and discuss with me things you like or didn't like about this video. I'm Benjamin. This is Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Have a jewel of a day.